Just like I did. This is one half. You know what's that part? Mm -mm. That's edible. It's edible. Nope. Nope. Try it. Jamie, it's edible. Nope. Try it. You try it. Try it. You like it. I'm not eating that. What yes. is that? What do you mean that's edible? What is that? It's people people do eat it. Trust me. Eat it. Just try it. I'm not going to stay your own. I mean, this. Eat yeah. Eat this. Yeah. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There you go. Fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. <laughs> uh, hey guys, welcome to another episode of Field Trips. So we made it up here to Maine. We're staying in Saco, Maine, down by Portland. But last night we drove four hours up the coast to Jonesport, Maine, a small lobstering town. We're meeting up here with a buddy of mine, Dan Harden, and a captain that he knows, Roy Fagand. And we're gonna be going out today to pull lobster traps, see kind of what that whole industry is like what it's like to be a lobsterman up here in Maine. Hopefully get some fresh lobster out of it. We've got Jamie Casa, who you guys met last video when we introduced her, the newest addition to Field Trips. Hey guys. So yeah, we're about to uh, get some breakfast here in this little corner store that Roy says is the spot. This is where all the fishermen come. And uh, then we're going to go out on the boat, pull some pots. And if we got time after that, we might do a little small game fishing, a little small tackle fishing for some pollock and mackerel and whatever else. Let's do it. The whole thing about that wide thick. I'd like it to slice it too now. Yeah, not today. <laughs> okay. Hey, you guys have a good day. Hey, guys. This is the island he said he lived on, born and raised on. He said, foggy, dreary. This is kind of what I imagine. Like, I think of like the perfect storm. Yeah. Like, long liners. Like, I didn't even say that. Oh, yeah, it looks windy over here. Mm -hmm. About to hop on the skiff, take it out to the lobster boat, go out, pull some traps, see how, uh, see how Roy does this. A little chilly, a little windy, very foggy. We're gonna go see how, see how we do. Yum. Yum. Yeah. I'm just hoping we can catch a few lobsters and I'll show you plenty of crabs, I'm sure, because they're gonna haul them on a short set, so. They're female rock crabs. Yeah, I'll see if I can't get you to bed at least once and make you cry like a baby. Rock crabs, are they good to eat or? Oh yeah, excellent, the males are. You don't eat female crabs. The most meat you'll ever find in lobster though would be a, what we call a rag lobster, which is take that napkin and soak it in water and that's what they're like. It's amazing what those things will do. They can come out of a thousand feet of water and be alive. Now you and I couldn't come out of a thousand feet of water because we just exactly. float. Yeah. I mean, it's just amazing how residual and tough those things yeah, are. Yeah, that's crazy. Nice. Inches. That's the so smallest. Like the take. body of it or the tail yeah. or what? Yeah. From where to where? It's from the eyeball to the back of the shell. As long as it stays up on top of that shell. Okay. See that? Three and three quarter inches. Yeah. Through the motions. Hey, let go, bro. <laughs> go, bro. <laughs> He's like, you ain't measuring me, boy. Yeah. Look at him. So to measure these guys, you basically use this little tool, put this part kind of in their eye socket, and then if it goes down past this kind of first part of the show where the tail starts, it's too small. And that guy's significantly too small. Toss him back. He's a lot closer, but uh, close, but no cigar. Close one counts the horseshoe and hand grenades. This is what we call a pistol, no claws. No claws. It's a pistol. How does that happen? So, is that wrong? <laughs> with one claw, it's called a cull. Yeah, this is a pistol. Or a broken claw. Why does that happen? Did it break off or was born that oh, way? Oh yeah, they, they got to fight. fight. They got to fight. They ripped each other and splits off. He lost, huh? Yeah, they regenerate. And then they eat the They're one of the few animals on the planet that can regenerate a limb. So they don't grow back like this, like they don't grow back hard, they grow back as like these little like soft sockets of, sure. of like skin. Yeah. yeah and they're oh. fused together and then as they, and they're squishy and they're like a bright red. It's really cool and then when they grow 
into it, it, it separates. It separate and it, it harden gets, up? Yeah. Huh. So you can still keep that, but basically they process them differently. So the ones with two claws go to one place. That's what you see in like restaurant tanks. They want them to look pretty. But any plant that's, you know, processing frozen lobster tails or something like that, doesn't matter how many claws. So you kind of put the one and zero claw lobsters in, in one bin and the full ones in another. These things are very just alien-like creatures. Tank. See the You'd be trailer our pet. pet. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Buddy. <laughs> Quit harassing the undersized lobsters. <laughs> he's got a messed up claw. Yeah, he's got a messed up claw. So he's a call. He only has one claw. Uh, one claw. You're gotcha. gonna you're gonna put my little lobster obsession in the clip. Yeah. <laughs> so this is their crusher. And this is their shredder. This is where they like hold on to the food. And this is where they rip it. They used to be slave food. Yeah. Slave they food. They weren't a delicacy. They were. Here. This is hard to clean. Prisoners. There's no prisoners. Getting yeah, fed lobster. Yeah. So Jamie here used to work in a fish market, her family's fish market. So she uh, go. is going to show me how to ban these these lobsters. Nice. It's like dirty jobs with Jamie Costa. <laughs> She's getting dirty. Look at this. Literally looks like you rolled around in. So for bait for these lobster traps, he's using pig hide, which is literally pig skin with basically a layer of fat on it. Kind of put that on top of the bait that's left over from when we pulled it up. And then we're gonna stuff it with some herring, which is uh, maybe not super fresh. It's got a little uh, odor to it. Yeah, yeah, a little flavor. Should bring those lobsters in from kind of all around. They can smell that. Come in there and feast until we pull them up. And watching Captain Roy here, basically just gonna stuff this thing till it won't stuff anymore. Cinch it up, and he's got some cool technique for tying this to the trap. So if you wanna make sure you wash your hands before you eat anything. Gotta wrap it around that. It in like two flicks of the wrist. <laughs> so they did it back in the day, right? We've been bringing up multiple of these guys now. Most of them have been females, you can't keep them. But this is a male, this other guy down here is a male. And these guys you can keep and you can actually eat them. So Captain Roy here, he also builds nets for other uh, lobstermen and uh, he's here doing a repair job on the fly right now with, I mean, essentially like a shoelace. Nylon. <laughs> definitely tell this guy he knows what he's doing. It's not his first rodeo out here. It's definitely a dirty job and it's cool to see how much goes into pulling these little things out. I mean, you. You pay a pretty penny for them in the restaurant, but now I can see why. It's a lot of work. From what I hear, these guys don't get paid nearly enough for doing all the work to bring it to you. Jamie taking a, a lobster min bath? Lobster bath? What is that water? What? It's hot, it's steamy. Um, this is random hot, steamy water? That seems like a pretty risky like you're sure it's water, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Did he tell you to dip your arm in this vat? <laughs> yeah, he said go wash off, wash off in the lobster bath. I said I'd be afraid. Are you driving? Yeah, he's driving. You should get a video of that. Are you yeah. kidding me? You should let me drive. If you're gonna let anyone drive, it should be me. All right, so Roy's letting us keep some of these. We're gonna eat them tonight. Show you guys how we're gonna cook them up. Stoked for that. But the rest of these, we'll sell. So we're dropping off here, kind of like, what'd you call this? Buying station. Calls this the buying station. The bucket of great for me. I'm gonna, we're gonna eat them. Actually, I'll get out and do it. <laughs> all right, well, super fun morning. Lobstering. Really cool to see how that all goes down. So now we just came back to the dock. We're about to switch boats to hop on his, what he calls his play boat. We're gonna go out, see if we can't catch some pollock and maybe some different fish, some new species, stuff I've never caught before. 
have a little light tackle fun uh, this afternoon. Fog's clearing up, sun's coming out, turning into a beautiful day. drop. Here I am over here trying to coach her and you know eight seconds into her first drop she already got one. Big deal. First Pollock. First Pollock for Jamie here. Nice work. Nice. He's on so good. Hands on, doubling up. Non-stop action. This is my first uh, decent sized Pollock. So he'll actually use these for live bait uh, for, for bluefin tuna. They're not the ideal bait but they do work. Really pretty fish. So, I mean, you drop this live in Florida or Texas or anywhere, this thing would get smashed by a variety of fish. I'm on. You're on? Yeah. So by. Doubled up. Tripled up. Tripled up. Look at that. Is that a Paul? Yeah, what is it? Pretty, like, bronze color. Yeah. All right, well, tons of fun. Checking a couple new species off the list. Breaking Jamie in our first day. She killed it. We got a little weather coming in, so we're gonna head back and go cook up some of these lobster, maybe a couple of these rock crab. Enjoy the fruits of our labor today. All right, well, what a day. That was a blast getting to kind of see what it's like. A uh, day in the life of the main lobstermen. You know, these guys are kind of legendary around the country and you can tell it's a tight knit community. Roy's been super nice, super cool to us. Showed us a good time, showed us a lobster thing, and then we got out and uh, did a little light tackle fishing. Had a blast, I think Jamie had fun. She's uh, getting a little too big for her britches, I'd say. She, she was uh, reminding me as often as possible who had been catching the most of those Pollock, but super fun. Now we're back here at Roy's place. He let us crash here last night, super nice guy. We got lobster steaming, about six lobster we brought back for us to try out. Got a couple of uh, Rock crabs who will be waiting their turn next. I want to try these things. You know, calling this a catch and cook, but really we're steaming them in an inch of water with nothing on them. No old bay, no seasoning, no nothing, just lobster and water. And I think that's the way to do it. That's the way I was hoping we'd do it. So, uh, yeah, I said about 20 minutes. Basically, he's got this thing clamped down so that these things can't fight their way out of the pot. Can't wait to try these things. So, Jamie is actually asleep on the job right now taking a nap I'm allowing it it's her first day she killed it out there today but she's not much of a seafood eater now despite that fact she can clean a fish better than I can but she does not eat seafood but we're gonna make her try one of these lobsters and see uh see what she thinks oh yeah it's the famous red color I'm stoked I've never had lobster in her this fresh Ooh -wee. those look good Letting them cool right here on the deck. Whew, it's gonna be good. Bizarre creature making some weird noises. Sink it down. That's it, that's all you gotta do. So then you just take these flippers, rip them off. I've never seen this done. I literally have not, I've never done this. Rip them back off. The thing and go just like that. And just push it in one end. It all comes like a big out there. Look at that. It's like crawfish. Yeah. So the claws and the tail are kind of what's worth it. Yeah. But you yeah, can't that's where the big meat is. Yeah, mm -hmm. meat just like there is in the, mm -hmm. the claw and everything else. Just kind of juice isn't worth the squeeze type of deal. A lot of work for not so much. Yeah. Be it, Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no, no. Whoa. The cat dragged in. Are you awake? Sometime? Yes, I'm awake. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna field trips. He just showed us how you're gonna he eat one. Picks the lobster. You're gonna try it, mate. Yeah, try it. So, which is what's the knuckle? Like the joint of the claw, like yeah. the base of the claw, basically. The best part. Are you gonna try it right now? Oh, wow. yeah. She's gonna go for it. She's oh, old. Yeah. So you don't need mono. butter. She's mono mono. I got sweeter that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
I don't know that. I'm not gonna let it go to waste. I'm on board with it. It's okay. <laughs> Hell that. Not feeling it? I understand it's the building block of my community, but I think it's nasty. This is not a good like first date food. No. It's like it's like it's like wings. Not not unless you uh, uh, stick your finger inside mm -hmm. the uh, small opening here. Yep. Just push the meat out like this. Yeah. Push it right out. So now I gotta ask, like anatomically, like what is this white <laughs> blood? That's basically, blood. Basically. Basically, their blood. Yep. What is this? This clay-looking stuff. Feces is would be my guess. It's raw. Tamale. It's the liver. Yeah, it's the liver. They call it the tamale. And this or tamale right here, which you get a bonus round. I'm from female. Texas. I know tamales. That ain't tamales. Yeah, no. <laughs> that right there is raw. Eat Not that. A Mexican. Tamale. That's the eggs. Eat that. That's raw. That's a female. You get that. So yeah, eat that. That's raw. You're saying eat that. Is that like a polite suggestion or like? No, a... just like pick it up and go. It's good. All right. I was. I thought for sure his face was gonna turn. It's got a better taste, but it's not better. It's edible. It's edible. I ate eggs out of a chum salmon. There you go. Spooned them into my mouth in Alaska. It was horrible. So there was some apprehension how, there, how but look, look I like trusted you. That was like a trust fall right there. I just stuck <laughs> that into my how mouth. So this blood, like, should I wipe that yeah, off? Yeah, just wipe it off your finger. Take that top part. Yeah. Right there where it's pull it. Yep. Pull it right back to the tail. All right, you got more row. Keep going. Keep going. I keep see. going. Right, just eat like, that pie just like and just rip it off. Okay. Yeah, just like a shrimp. Alright, now you wanna what they call D vein. You wanna take that black line out of there. Yep. That is PCs. Yeah. PCs. Yeah, basically. Keep the orange, that's good. So separate the eggs from the feces. Yes. yes. And put those in my mouth. Yes. Gotcha. Now if you're a real See, girly Jamie, I'm on board with you. It's if, way too much work. If you're a girly man, you just separate the feces from the eggs, man. That's not that big of a deal. Yeah. If you're a girly <laughs> man, you just take it and Wait, uh, no, I didn't get all the feces. Sink, I didn't out. get all the feces. There was at least a hint of feces <laughs> in that. Go ahead. And if you're a girly man, you take it over the sink, rinse it off. If you're just a regular man, just take and wipe the brown off it and eat it. Yeah, but these are all free range I, I lobsters, it. so it's not that bad. No, you just pick it up with your finger. That's like fairly yeah, healthy. You have to pull it up there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. Bob over here. Have you had lobster before? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've eaten lobster before. <laughs> Never this fresh. Thanks for asking. <laughs> it doesn't no, get any no, fresh. No, Nobody funny. gets fresh. It does not get any there. fresher. I don't care how much you paid in the restaurant. At the very best, that fish has been living in an aquarium for six months. Right, right. <laughs> what do you think? It's delicious. How did you do the claw? No. No, no, no. no. From, no. from oh, the right body. Right They're from the body. hard, dude. Right from the body. These things will right. mess you up. Uh, Okay. What? What? Close what, what? There's Close a. Close enough. Oh, I can't help but you. I forget you're from Texas and. Yeah. Our lobster, we call them crawfish or crayfish. If you're really from the south. Yeah. And right. uh, you know they're way smaller than this claw. You can pull. Well, they're not pretty much the same. You, you got it. Come on, dude. All right. So then we take you know oh, pick and split it. Hey. Sorry. Split them in half. And then you. you then Just you. But what in half? What is the lobster? This guy. All right, yeah, I ripped the carapace off. Carapace. So in crawfish eating, we always say the the real man they they suck the heads. That's where all the flavor is. This would be. I, wow, you know, no. It would be it's a little large to suck, but. Take that and off that suck. All right, hang on to that pot and pull that pot off. There you go. Rip right off. Keep going. There you go. Now give me that because you don't need that. You're not gonna eat anything in that. Not his brains. No, her brains. Her brains. And what exactly am I eating here? That doesn't look like... No, it's split right down the middle, just like I did. This is one half. You want that part? Mm -mm. That's edible. It's nope. edible. Nope. Try it. Jamie, it's edible. Nope. Try it. You try it. Try it. You like it. I'm not eating that. What <laughs> is that? What do you mean that's edible? What is that? It's People love to eat it. Trust me, eat it. Just try it. I'm not going to stay your own. I mean... This? Don't... Yeah. Eat this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Tastes like the ocean. Trust me, if you were in prison and they were feeding you lobster, you'd love it. Totally. If I was in prison and they were feeding me lobster, I would definitely be appreciative. You're right. That's crazy that that's what this used to be. Fertilizer. He was using God. Fertilizer. Now people pay $20 for one of these. What am I doing here? Sucking this white meat out? I just pick it up with my fingers, but you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Thought I would never say that before. <laughs> In order of work, yeah. sucking that white meat out. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, dude. That's good. So pull one of these legs. Yep. 
and just like a straw, just put the end in your mouth and just yeah. Sure just thing. put For one real. end in my mouth and suck. For real. <laughs> like that. That's what Dan Harden just said. Uh, this is a non-fish eater. I can't tell if I'm getting, I don't think I'm getting any meat. I'm getting the flavor. Is that what I'm basically yeah, looking it for? Like, it tastes good. Oh, if you've got ones that have real it's soft shells, you can take oh. like, the back of a spoon or something. And hey, put it squirted in, in, in my egg. face. I was sucking the white meat and it squirted in my face. Well, that happens sometimes. <clears throat> I've seen it. <laughs> in other news, <laughs> Hackfish Fields subscri oh, wait. subscribers plummet after multiple <laughs> sexual lobster jokes ended his career. <laughs> Yeah. Angry mothers nationwide <laughs> revolted. How do I break this? Is my fingers? Yeah, hold on. Okay. Oh, yeah. You don't want that to... You don't want the, that's that. That's like a ligament, basically. Yeah. Like right, that you want to eat. That's the filet mignon of the lobster. Well, I like the tail myself. I'm kind of a tail guy, so... Jason Tail. I respect that. Mm, that's crazy the difference in flavor between the claw and the, and the tail meat. Provoke now. Wow, these things are sharp. You going? Oh, I know. Yeah. This right here, this, that hurts. Now what? You, you grab that the wrong way. I got a cut on my finger I just jammed yeah, it into. You got a hot log so that won't be shot because it will be, they, like I told you. They dull all, down. All so all this hot, guy, so this girl somewhat recently molted and that's why they're so sharp. It's kind of fresh. Yes. Like yeah. a baby cabbage. Huh. Like a baby I'm learning cabbage. so much right now. You they want to try it again? They taste good. Try the claw? Nope. You want to try the tail? I told nope. Jamie I was going to make her try it. Jamie, try She did tail. try it. No, I'll try In the hindsight, tail. I should have said I'm going to make you try every part of it because I'd still be forcing her, but that wasn't the deal. So she's off the hook. Yeah, you you went straight for the knuckle. Like, that's just. That's, that's, that's the best you don't part go of the lobster. Straight for the knuckle yeah, on a first date. Good. That's weird. Yeah. That's the best. You go straight for the tail on the first date. Yeah, Everyone knows that. Oh, that's good. This is really good. Yeah. Make it look decent and it's just funny as if it's not six zero. They're hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're hot. What the Get hell? Out of the pot. You should see the slow mo footage I got of these guys before they went in. Show me. So, this is a rock crab. Don't keep the females, you only keep the males. Is this a pretty average size one? Or do they? Yeah? You've seen them by the way a pound. So, a pound would be a big one. Yeah. So, the primary parts of the meat are in the claws, and then yeah, you get a little bit out of the body, you said. Yeah. If you look right there, it's meat that? Oh, on no. all of them. Oh, yeah. That oh, just teaching me flatland how to eat lobster. Flatlander. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, like I haven't used that. I haven't heard that. Yeah, so, yeah. So how's it taste, man? Oh, that's delicious. That part's delicious. You gonna try some? No. No. Don't make no. me. <laughs> so what's the best way to dissect this claw? Break it here? Or not? The same way as the lobster. Yeah, right the joint. Right. This one. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get your little going. Dude, they're hard. Bro. Yeah, those those are actual hot. Like yeah. I need like this is like a Joe's crab shack. I, I actually got a. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. I got it. I got it. No, it's cool. I'll do it. The I, I don't want it. No, I don't want to be a flatlander yeah. about it. I, oh, I mean, oh, oh, trust me. There's a knack to breaking those. But yeah, you uh, you get some meat. That's good enough. I kind of break it up. Well, I think you just like a hammer. Like a hammer. Yeah. Yeah. Like a slave for that. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is definitely not a. Uh, Crab shelling tutorial by any means. Got rookie, rookie of all rookies, Flatlander. That is why they sell crab meat already picked out. And you, totally. you never go and, oh, I'll just buy two crabs, please. Right. If I had to live, live on shell my own cra crab, I'd be in a lot better shape than I am. <laughs> 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 True that. It's the best diet plan, the crab diet. Yeah. We got to work for every bite, yeah. yeah. This is a lot more work than the lobster. The lobster, that was yeah. it kind of spoiled me. Yeah. Just a uh, couple, couple. <laughs> Watch out. Yeah, let me get that for <laughs> you. You got a little, you got a little something right yeah, there. Yeah, you got a little, you got a little <laughs> spinner around your face. Yeah. Yeah, you got like a swiffer, bro? Cause I'm gonna owe you a little bit of a thing. I get that, I get that. It really is good though, man. Super sweet. I like the lobster better, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, <laughs> cause it's easier to get to. Uh, no. I like crab meat too, but it just sucks to get to. It's surprisingly good. These things are basically like the trash fish of the uh, lobstering world. Not very desirable, but they're actually really good. It's just a ton of work. 
to get this meat out, but uh, I'm covered in Really delicious, does not get fresher than this. Harvested today, organic, paleo, fit fam, hashtag bikini season. This what? is a miniature. That's what the old yeah. school lots of traps used to be back in the day. Dude, yeah. that is That's awesome. The the wooden yeah. ones. Do you have one? Do you have another one? That's like the only one I know of like on the planet. <laughs> the guy that Keep built it. those is long okay. since deceased. Really? Yeah. yeah. I feel bad taking it. What was his name? Shirley Dude. Kelly. Shirley dad's Kelly. great uncle. Oh, wow, man. Oh, dude, I didn't realize that. I mean, it was badass to have you come on. I mean, like, I was talking to my wife last night. I'm like, you know, it's weird that, like, I'm standing next to him and talking to a guy that's normally on my phone. <laughs> right. You know. Well, it's awesome, man. You guys are like, so good hey, to us. You can come to the end of the earth again, and you'll get a place in Jonesboro. The end of the earth. Yeah. No kidding, man. Yeah. I definitely want to come back. Had them drying outside, but they got, oh, look, maggots. Nice. Mm, good. I gotta get them back outdoors. Tuna tails. This was our kind of plan A. It didn't pan out because of the weather today, but we were gonna go for some big boy bluefin tuna. So, uh, Captain Roy Fagund has invited me back here to Jonesport, Maine to take my kayak about 40 to 60 miles out in the Atlantic Ocean, drop me in the water, and go after some massive bluefin tuna we're talking like 400 pound bluefin tuna from the kayak uh he'd have to mother ship me out there obviously i'm not going to kayak 40 miles but comment below i need to know if you guys would be interested in watching me catch a 400 plus pound bluefin tuna or at least trying to i, I i'm not promising that'll be a success success but let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that because it would cost me some money to get back up here after jamie and i have moved on from the northeast but it'd be worth it, a round trip ticket or two, to come back up here and give that a shot if you guys be interested in seeing it. So comment below, let me know. 400 pound bluefin tuna from the kayak, are you interested? Yay or nay? Let me know, and uh, if so, we'll make this happen, 100%.